40 year old male. He just finished out a seizure. He's in the parking lot. Probation. He's a probation client. Veteran with PTSD. Uh, oh, there. Oh, he's pointing a gun, a play gun. Pointing a play gun. His but finger gun. Air. He's going like this. Uh, this adult male. He has a history of seizures. Okay. Uh, according to his heel, he's uh, PTSD. So, okay. He went on conscious, was shaking. Uh, came to. Now he thinks he's in trouble. He's set up like that. Okay. Just be careful touching him or he can come up swinging. Okay. Yeah, I won't touch him until he responds. How is this normal process? It's like what he's in this state, how long does it take him to get out, what's his reaction? It can be 20 minutes or so, yeah. Does it become combative in a way or hurt If you people? touch him. If you touch him. If you touch him. Okay. This is all leftovers from when he was in Iraq, when he was over in the war. Okay, okay. So, he'd been in some pretty horrific accidents. Exactly. Um, his friends. My name is stuck here, and the rest of the guy's body was okay. over there. I'm a friendly, okay? Zach, this is a friend. Okay, so we'll just come back to the shade, okay? Thank you, Zach. He's a friend, Zach. Zach, he's a friend. I'm a friendly, Zach. Hey, okay, I was downrange. Okay. Zach, we're going to does he come out slowly, or does he just kind of come out of it? He, no, he, he slowly works his way out of it. Okay, and how do you, what, do you, what do you see normally in it when he starts to come out of it? And... He'll start looking around start. like he's confused, okay, you know, what happened. Okay. The AO is clear, trust me. Yep, that's what we do. Okay? That's been searched. Okay, the AO is clear. I just need you to get some cover in the shade, okay? Can you do that for me? I'm, here, I'm a friendly, Zach. I'm here to help you. Okay? Okay, the AO is clear. Just, just move back to the shade so we can get you some help, okay? Okay, just move back to the shade. Yeah, there's a curve. Step, Step up. Step up. There you go. It's okay. mom. It's mom. Stay here with us. Here, stay here in the shade. Come back here in the shade. Can you come in the shade? We'll let the medics check you out. Yeah, this is what you did last time. Are you all right, man? Let's go in the shade. Uh, yeah. I a little bit. One, two, three. Real hard. Nice work, man. Come sit with us. Can you welcome? Right on the gurney. We had a gentleman who had a seizure, which is a stress-related seizure. He has a history of PTSD. He's coming into the probation office here, so he has these seizures while he's under a tremendous amount of stress. Also reacting as if he was in combat in, in Iraq, where he, was, uh, where he experienced some PTSD events. Uh, with these patients, we don't run into very often. Seizure patients we do, but not with the PTSD related, so it's very unique. And what we like to do is take it very slow, keep the patient calm because we don't know how they're going to react. We're able to talk to him now. He's now alert and oriented, and now we're going to just follow up with him at the hospital due to the fact he may have bumped his head. Traffic slowing up there, though. No, yeah. I think they're still on. We're gonna. It's a Jeep Willis Parkway, isn't it? Sure do. No, there's a way. There's a way. There we go. We we'll just jump on right here. So you can see the vehicles right here, our apparatus are trying to uh, provide uh, protection. Stop. Okay, as you can see, uh, there's two vehicles involved. Both sustained pretty good damage. And we'll go ahead and check to see if we have any injuries. Thanks, 
Mark. Guys got any injuries? You good? Uh, we're just gonna check him. Okay. How are these folks doing over here? She's okay. She's waiting. Uh, she has some rides. Okay. You guys are over here? No, we're good. Okay. No, no, all right. We, cool. we saw it happen. Oh, did you? All right. Thanks for stopping, guys. When he got done, when he got back, he literally looked at us and goes, he goes, did I flip over the wall? He goes, I was going that way. So he might be a little disoriented. All right. Thank you, brother. Yep. You okay? Just you in here? You okay? All right. You shook up a little bit? Okay. Which yeah. one, huh? Your arm hurts? Okay. Can you move it okay? I mean, I can move it, but... Can you wiggle your finger? Alright, fine, fine, Luke's County. Thank you, we'll clear the mess. You think you want to go to the hospital by an ambulance? Straight clear the mess, 1302. Okay. Uh, I'll make sure uh, you're checked out and stuff, okay? The good news is, uh, obviously, now that you're not... Sir Sandra, look, at, the, look at this you guys stuff. You did good, well, okay? So, I know, I know. That's how I'm here, see? Did you guys check her out and all that? Yeah. Yeah. Check 17, Lucy. You want to check out? Like, we did. She said she's got some pain in her arm. She doesn't want to go to the hospital, though. She said she's going to call, see if she can get her. Yeah, her ride. boyfriend's coming. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Is he all right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, no loss of consciousness? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. I'll get you. I'll see you, man. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'll stay and pick. I'll, I'll keep a pick. I'll, look, I'll go look for police, all right? One seven one fire dispatch. One seven one. We also need to uh, notify ODOT. We have uh, quite a bit of uh, um, rubbish here from the accident on the expressway. Uh, 20s female, uh, post seizure, she's in the alley. Okay, so about halfway down the alley. Oh, here she's at a coffee shop. Seizure, kind of slumped to the ground, okay. started having uh, grand mal seizure activity, lasted about two minutes. She's a little confused right now. She was sitting up when we got here. Okay. Um, so she has a history of seizures. Okay. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Okay. Do you know where you are right now? Um, yeah. Where are you at? Um, where do you call What city are you in? Sacramento. Okay, what year is it? Uh, 19, uh, 18. I mean, 2018 time. You're still a little confused? We don't want to leave you here like that, okay? I understand you have a history of seizures? Yeah. Okay. And you know after seizures, you still be kind of confused and you possibly can have another one? So how about we run you down to the hospital? Mm -hmm. I understand okay. that you don't want to, but since you're confused on some simple questions, we need to take you to the hospital. I know you're not, it, it okay. looks like you don't even feel well either. You can't what? How come? We have to take you to the hospital. You're too confused for us to leave you here, okay? So why don't you step up and we'll sit you on the journey over here, okay? Let's go. I'll help you. I'll have to take us there. No, it's just, I can't. We have to take you. I know. But see, you're not finishing sentences? You're too confused for us to leave you here. Unfortunately, we need to take you to the hospital, okay? So let's just make it easy, okay? All right, we're making it nice and easy. Otherwise, we're just gonna pick you up, and I don't wanna do that, okay? So can we, can we stand up and do it the easy way? Take my hand. Come on, dear. Come on, Grant, this is how we have to do it. No choice. I'm okay. right. stuff. We understand. This is how we have to do it, okay? Well, we have to go, down. I know. Don't make me call the police. Why are you gonna call me? Because you're confused and we have to take you. We're gonna pick you up. Come on, let's go. Please. Just come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We have to take you. Stop. Come on. You're too confused. Come on. Stop. Let's go. Come on. We have to take you to the hospital. One, two, three. Ah. Right, so. What the hell? Stop! Sorry. 
Okay. Just relax. There you go. Yeah. Right now, she's in a post-dictal state where she might look like she's awake, but she's not answering any questions appropriately. She doesn't know where she's at. She doesn't even know what the year it is or where she lives. So she doesn't want to go to the hospital. That's about as her level of awareness right now. So unfortunately, we just have to take her. We can't leave her here by herself. Hopefully, her head clears and she can handle whatever she wants to handle at the hospital. One person back there, oh, punched over. So what will probably happen is we need to take you to the hospital. The dogs, I just got on the radio and I asked to get in contact with AJPD and, and they do have paws and claws or like their canine unit. Not, sorry, not their canine unit, but their animal rescue. Your dogs will be well taken no, care of. Just, a lot like children, we don't ever want to separate uh, a family, and that includes cats and dogs and rabbits and whatever else, because, right, they're, they're all you got. The in the hospital as it is. Okay. And also, the follow-up is good, because we need to make sure that if you're going to... If you're going to have to be in there long-term, that they know that. You know, that heat stress is cumulative. If you're not doing anything to cool off at night, like cold showers or getting inside the A.C., I tried. You're, you're going to, no matter how good the breeze is, you're going to get sick. Ma'am, Ryan is the guy in front that's going to be riding with you to the hospital. We'll make sure that this information of where we sent you is given to AJPD. They might call you. There you go, right there. Yeah, and if, if they don't call you, call them, OK? But your, your dogs will be well taken care of. We, we know these guys personally. They love animals. They're, they're going to take good care of them, OK? All right, sweetheart. Well, let's get you up and get you on the, on the gurney, and we'll take care of the dogs now that animal control is here. Ryan, did they give you a good um, transfer, transfer of care there? Get all the information you need? Please don't forget their ball. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, buddy. Come here, handsome. Hey. Look at you go. Huh, you're strong. I know. You want to go for Ryan? All set? Yeah. You got him? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? No, he doesn't need fire. He was just James. Like, James, are you having a hard time breathing? No. Okay. Do you have asthma or anything like that? Can we do an assessment on you? All right. Let's do this. Let's get you out of here. Let's sit you next yeah. to the truck, okay? Okay. Let's sit over here next to the truck so I can assess you. Yes, sir. Okay? I'm sorry. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, give me a hand. Yes, sir. Let's stand up. Okay? Oh, okay. Watch it. That's broke. I got gotcha. you. I got you. Keep going. Keep going. Have a seat. I apologize. I'm going to do this down there. You're good. You're good. I'm on the corner, okay, partner? No, that's why I, I'm so wow. Turn around. I apologize. All right. You're good. What's bothering you the most right now? I just can't catch my. All right, how much alcohol did you have today? Uh, he had two of those bottles. Two half pints. Two half pints. Okay. Yeah, that's that, 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 that. Your pint. All right. Yeah, that's sorry. Oh, my goodness. Look at me. Hey, hey, hey. Watch your nose. Look, man. Watch your nose. Hey, James. I, James. Yes, sir. Who's the president? 
of the United States. Oh, easy. Bill Clinton. All right. How, ma how many quarters in a dollar? Nine. How many quarters in a dollar? Anyways, dude, come on, man. You hey. do, I got this. Yeah, silly questions. Just... I know. I apologize. I'm sorry. Hold real still for me, Burp. Yes, sir. I apologize, gentlemen. Yes, we're, we're here because you had a complaint of difficulty breathing. Okay? So right now we're trying to rule out the, any emergent no. reason for going to the hospital, awesome. okay? All right. And right, and right now I'm not seeing an emergent reason to go to the hospital. However, it's your choice. If you'd like to go to get worked up, okay, be, and be seen by a physician, do some blood work, we can do that. All right. I just want to get rid of the snot bubble. I'm not being rude or, you know. I don't think you're being rude. No, I, I'm just trying to be very clear. No, That's all. You, you, you're freaking awesome. You guys rock, but, you know. Okay. The snot bubble. How's Come your. On, hey, hey. Oh. Is that why you called us for the snot bubbles? No, I okay, didn't well, call that's you what guys. We're, to get to the bottom of. We're, uh, we're not here for the snot bubble. We're here to see if we can help you. And if that means going to the hospital, we'll do so. No. Okay, yeah. so what is it you would like to do? Whatever you want. You're the boss, you're in charge. Hey, listen, James, are you going to keep drinking if we leave? Yeah. You're going to keep drinking? Yeah. I would advise that you stop drinking. Take a break, man. Get a nap. Okay, because life is not going to get better if you keep drinking at this point. You've had quite a bit today. Yes, All right? sir. All right, and that's going to make you feel like crap. Awesome. And, and right now it looks like everything's okay, except you've had a few too many, and that's all right. You're an adult. You're, you can do that. Yeah. And I would advise that you just take a break, okay, chill out for a little bit. Yeah. And, you, and you'll start to feel better, okay? Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, I'll make a call. Go get it. Uh, I don't have my. I don't have my phone. Is uh, does Andrew have his? You got a phone? Yeah. I can call if you want. All right. He's, all his vital signs are in range, right? Yeah. He's just oh, yeah. drunk. Just drunk. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.